Hi guys, and welcome to part 28 of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. Now I have to admit to being pretty psyched about this video, because I'm going to start off with a mod by the Modmeister himself, my good eye, or as a lot of you will know him, MGE. Now if you don't recognise that name, uh, it's the mod author of Warzones, which I covered in a previous video, but he's got a host of other mods for Skyrim, including um, the Imaginator, he also uploaded the ultra-realistic world lighting mod on behalf of Mercurios, and of course worked with me on the Dynavision mod. He also has a host of Fallout New Vegas mods, including Warzones, Imaginator, Dynavision and Cinematech, and you can find those all on the Nexus website. But the mod that made him famous, the one that really sort of catapulted him to the sort of modding fame, if you will, is Electro City. And essentially, this mod added uh, street lights to Fallout New Vegas. And it looks like he's going to do it again for Skyrim, because his latest mod is called Claralux. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, more and brighter lights. Now, a few weeks ago, I covered two mods that added lanterns to roads and to bridges. And obviously, this mod does the same, so you don't need both of them. However, this mod is very customizable from the console. You can turn off a lot of features if you want. So if for some reason you want to keep using those other mods, you can and still use this for all of its other features. Because this mod adds lights to a lot more places. Um, another difference is this mod adds lanterns to the roads, but it adds little fire pit lights to bridges. So it's slightly different. Uh, but again, it lights up your way beautifully. I mean, it really is a massive difference at night time. But this mod also adds a lot of lights, especially to a lot of architectural structures. So for example, the college at Winterhold now has a lot more lights and looks a lot more magical and a little bit more spectacular. Um, you remember the boring bri dark bridge across Windhelm? Well, that's a lot brighter now, has a lot more uh, light cast upon it. And the High Hrothgar, the place where you meet the Greybeards, that has gone from this very dark, gloomy sort of shadow on the horizon to this well-lit, spectacular fortress. Um, and it's an incredible sight to see as you round the corner. Now, light sources generally have been increased, and that includes spells. So as you can see, uh, with this mod, fire spells give off a lot more light. You can actually use them as very good torches. And this is true for lights that you see all over the world. Now, you'll be able to see them from further away, and they will seem brighter. And this is especially true in Darker Nights mods. Uh, so if you have a Darker Night mod that tends to dull down torches and things, this is a good mod to mix in with it as well. So all in all, I really do like the visuals with this mod. Um, I enjoy the extra light, and I like the extra light sources on the outside of buildings. But one other great thing about this mod is it probably is a work in progress. This mod author is very receptive to constructive criticism or positive feedback. So if you've got suggestions, he will listen, and he is almost certainly going to add new lights to places where people find and think a light should be found. Um, he does update his mods very often, so this is one you should really check out. Now the next mod I'm going to cover is a very interesting one, and it's called Scenic Carriages. Now, there are a couple of reasons I like this mod. The first one is it actually adds new carriages to all the different capital cities. Uh, so now Morfall, Dawnstar, Falkreath, and Winterhold all have carriages so that you can climb on and go to your destination, uh, which is really useful. It really is useful. But by far the most interesting thing about this mod is it lets you ride the carriages um, in real time. So you're actually there for the journey, which is so much more immersive. Now, when you go to the uh, carriage driver after you've installed this mod, 
One of the options you will get is a guidebook. Um, you'll also notice it says, I'd like to hire your carriage vanilla. That means you hire the carriage in the same way as you would normally. Pick a destination and you magically appear there after a brief pause and a loading screen. However, if you get the guidebook, then go to your inventory and read that book, you get this helpful little menu. And it allows you to enable scenic travel. So you actually see the travel as it happens. You can also set whether you want to allow the third person and even set the speed at which the carriage is supposed to travel. And then click done, close the book. And now when I talk to him, you'll notice it says, I'd like to hire your carriage, scenic. Where do you want to go? And let's just say I want to go to, well, these are my options at the moment. I'm going to go to White Run. Climb and back and we'll be off. Now, you don't have to climb in the back as you did previously. I took some damage there, as you can see. Um, that sometimes happens. I'm not totally sure, but I think the carriage is actually running you over. And as you can see, I can go into third person and actually watch the carriage drive off. Now, there are a few issues with it. The first being your followers, if you have any, cannot ride with you, so they run behind. Um, the second is, if you go third person, as I did then, it centers in the middle of the carriage, and you have to pull back a bit to see it. But it's minor things, really. Also, you'll notice the carriage sort of seems to slide a little bit. It doesn't quite go forward on the wheels. It's a minor detail. Um, but you should be aware of it. But, all in all, as you can see, a lot more atmospheric than just fast travelling. Now, you might be wondering, what happens if you need to stop? Well, no problem. Talk to the driver. And you could either... Well, we'll start with, I want to get out here. And he will pause and you get out. But you'll notice the carriage is still here. So you can do whatever you've got to do. Maybe you want to kill someone, or maybe someone's attacking you or your followers. Or you just wanted to stop because there's an inn nearby. And then when you're ready to go... Ready to go? Sit back and enjoy the ride. Get back in the carriage. Just a, just a scratch. See, again, little glitch where it sounds like someone's being hit. And I can tell you, you can actually run your followers over. Now... Here's one disadvantage. You can get attacked. Now, another thing to note when you are traveling on the coach, you will actually discover locations. If you've not discovered them on your map, it will actually discover them as you travel through them, which is very nice. And if you get bored of all the traveling, just want to speed things up, you've seen enough of the scenery, Talk to the driver, say, wake me up when we arrive, and it fast travels you as it would have had you used the vanilla carriages. So, you don't actually have to do the entire journey. And here we are at Whiterun. Installing both of these mods is very easy, actually. Um, the Claralux mod is a single file, download with manager. There is an optional loose files one, but I wouldn't bother with it. Um, use, use this one is my recommendation. So just download with manager and activate. And the scenic carriages is, again, the same thing. There are two versions. There's a BSA version and a loose file version. I'm using the BSA version. Works just fine for me. So download with manager and activate. Neither of them require anything more than that. And that's it for this video. Um, I know it's only two mods this time, but I was uh, pretty excited about the Clara Lux mod and wanted to get this video out as soon as possible. Um, I hope it was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. If it was, please click the like button. I always appreciate that. And uh, a big thanks to people who are still posting those screenshots. I, I love them. 
keep them coming and I will put them in these videos and I look forward to seeing you guys next time and until then have fun. Yeah.